Hello, this is Joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, and this is part 10 of my 12 part series on investing in real estate in Oklahoma City. What we're going to talk about in this video is exit strategy. And normally people say, well, you know, I'll talk about exit strategy when we decide to sell the property. That's not the way to look at it. Exit strategy starts right at the beginning because if we're looking at a home or say you're trusting me to buy a home uh, and I'm sending you pictures and you're looking at Google Maps and things, if I know that there's an issue in the location, if I know that it backs up to a busy street with a tremendous amount of traffic, if there's something about that property that I don't like, what I'm going to tell you is, you know, there's some really good things about that property, but you know, I don't know about the exit strategy. The exit strategy is going to be difficult. You know, for instance, right now on FHA and VA loans, if we decide to sell a property and it's within 300 feet of what we call a pumping station, this is where you see those oil storage tanks. It's usually an old oil well that they're pumping out a little bit of oil on a daily basis. You can't get an FHA or a VA loan on it uh, by current standards. And so what happens is we don't have a very good exit strategy there. And if that's the case and the property is $150,000, well, maybe it's okay at $135,000. And that's the way we compute an exit strategy. Now, once we get to that point, once we get to that five year or seven year, wherever, whenever it happens to be, then we're going to work out potential scenarios that you can have in terms of why do you want to sell the property? Now, maybe you just want to be a cash out, be in a cash out situation. Well, if you do that, there's two types of taxes that you're going to pay one of which is a recapture tax. And that is the fact that you've been taking depreciation over that five or seven year or whatever period it is. And so what the government says is we got to get 25% of that back. And so you're paying that tax and we take the basis of that property, we take that tax and now we have a, another amount that we're dealing with and now it's time to compute the capital gains. And capital gains is going to be determined by your income, but most people that are buying investment real estate through me are buying executive properties, which means you know, their tax rate is pretty high. So let's say that's 20%. So now we take that amount and we take 20% off that. And whatever you net out after all of that is done is what you're getting in terms of a cash out position. That's after tax, that is your money. Now, if that's 20 or 25%, that's really pretty cool if we still have that kind of annualized return. But there's also another way of not paying any taxes. And that is what's called a 1031 tax deferred exchange. This is a way that we could take your total money and that we can reinvest it into more real estate and you do not have to pay any taxes on that whatsoever. And so the other type of exit strategy that we have is that at some point you say, hey, I found these other buys that I want to make and maybe I want to buy two properties and I want to take the income or the, the cash out position that I have in that property that we're selling where we're going to put it into that. And so that's what's called a 1031 tax deferred exchange. Whatever it happens to be, we're going from start to finish, we're going to be talking about your exit strategy. Every year, you and I are going to be communicating at least once a year saying, you know, this is what the current value of your property is so that you're always up to date on that and it fits into your investment strategy. So whatever it happens to be, exit strategy starts at the beginning and hopefully we have a happy ending at the end. That's what we're looking for. Now in this next video, in video 11, I'm going to go into more detail about that 1031 tax deferred exchange so we can look at that as an exit strategy also. This is Joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team.com in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values at the speed of technology.